this is really going to break some hearts. I love coffee. Only last year, I'm over a decade into my journey. No, no um, criticism from me. I love coffee. I've recently tried to put it back in, but it causes migraines for me coming back to the talk that we had yesterday, the glutamatic cytotoxicity. This causes issues with me, so I can no longer, and the mycotoxins, I can no longer consume the coffee. But coffee isn't as beneficial as one would think. It contains a compound called acrylamide, which is created during the roasting process. So this is to do with amino acids, asparagine, and reducing sugars, and it leads to the formation of acrylamide. Even mycotoxin coffee contains acrylamide. Acrylamide in 1990 was deemed to be a known carcinogen in the state of California and slapped with a Prop 65 warning. In 2011, it was also upregulated to show that it causes uh, reproductive issues. Coffee is a known, it's a known neurotoxin. These acrylamides are known neurotoxins, and they're found, as I say, in, in the, the mycotoxin and caffeine-free acrylamide. I'm going to read this out. So it's a compound that can cause neurological damage. It causes tremors, weakness. It also interacts with purine bases in the DNA. Coming back to the DNA, what we began the whole talk on, what makes us human, this process of protein synthesis.